Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I'm bringing you a remake of a soap that I made not very long ago for you. Um, it's going to be Icy Peppermint and the reason I am doing this is because I have, I don't know, maybe eight ounces left, seven, seven, six ounces of this left. I don't know where this is going to be come May when the new IFRA standards come into a, into play. And it sold so well. I sold out of this, there, sorry, my microwave. I sold out quite, quite quickly. Um, it is probably my favorite peppermint scent, hands down. So I really hope it stays soap safe. Um, I am going to make another big batch of it. Big for me is 27 bars. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to do that. I am going to try my red again. <laughs> if you've seen the video of my peppermint soap um, maybe a couple months ago, I mixed, I, I have a trio of colors that I do to get a good red and I grabbed the wrong jar. I'm going to try to do this again. I'm going to try Lisa's hint of adding just a little bit of green again to see if I can get a really good red. Um, so I'm still going to do the red and white theme. I think I'm still going to pipe. Um, the inside is probably going to be just a, a swirl maybe. I haven't really decided. I'm getting all my oils like cooled down and, and um, ready to go. So yeah, I just thought I'd bring you along to see if I can really get my red the way I want it to without making a mistake. My computer's right there on the counter next to me. I'm going to be having that up so I know exactly what color combination I'm supposed to use instead of trying to go by my memory. Not smart, Tammy. We know this, right? Not smart, my memory. <laughs> so if you're interested in watching this, please stay tuned and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so in this little bucket here, I have equal parts of Glamour Pink from my cousin Moore and Ruby Red. So I did a quarter of a teaspoon. Crap, I just spilled my titanium dioxide all over my table. Hang on. Uh, all right, I think I still have enough for my soap today. And I still have my knife over here. Let me move my old stuff. Okay, where was I? Equal parts and I used a quarter of a teaspoon each of Ruby Red Glamour Pink. Then I used an eighth of a teaspoon of Outrageous Orange Neon. Now, according to what I've done before and the reviewer that said to do this, use equal parts of all three. Well, I felt like the last time I did that, it was more of a brick red. And it could be that I just used too much and it was too saturated that caused that to have that really almost brickish deep red and I want more of a happy red. So I decreased the orange. I have no idea guys. I'm not color. Color is not my thing. I decreased this thinking maybe that was the culprit of that kind of that brick brickness. And Lisa from I Dream and Soap puts a little green in her reds to make them more red. So I did an eighth of a teaspoon each of these and that is Outrageous Orange and Green Vibrance from Nurture. That is what's in here. Heavens, such a mess. And I, before I put my kale and clay in here, I'm just gonna put a little oil in here and then get this blended in well, and then I'll bring it back. All right, let me pull you out just a little bit. I don't know, you guys will have to tell me what works for you. <laughs> okay, let me put my glasses on. I have what I think is gonna be a neat idea. So I am going to make my entire soap white other than my piping and I'm just going to pipe red all over the soap. What do you think? I don't know. It sounds to me that sounds kind of interesting and different and yeah, we're going to see what happens. I'm ha I was having a hard time coming up with a design for the inside of the soap knowing I wanted to pipe on top. So now I'm just going to do all different, I think I'll put couplers on, maybe a, a small coupler and a medium coupler so I can have all different shapes of, of the red piping. <laughs> Thank you. 
The biggest question is how much of this to pull off for the piping I want to do. So far, what do you think? Um, it's a little darker than I was thinking it was going to be. It's a still a little rust. I don't know, maybe, maybe the orange isn't the culprit. Maybe it's the ruby red that's making it kind of a rusty red. I thought for sure it would be the orange. It's not bad. It's just not that kind of like that cherry red I'm going for. Um, I think I am going to uh, order that trial by fire um, and give that a go. But it's really still this very rusty red. So anybody out there know of these colors, what I should do differently? Um, and is that enough? That's the big question right now is to get this, is that enough? I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'd rather have too much than not enough. That's going to be way too much probably, but that's okay. I can, I can layer this part. Oh, that's nice. Just, it's really just to add a light trace. Okay. I don't know what to do with this. It's not the red I'm going for. Ugh. Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit of this radically reddish neon. It's definitely a pink. Um, but I feel like this is just that brick red so I need I need help <laughs> okay I had this way too full and it was making a mess trying to smush all those uh, mica colorants down so I had to put just a little bit in this other container to see if I could get it smushed without giving me too many streaks I'm a mess I've already changed my gloves once here guys blend this and see what happens with the blending. That's definitely brightened it up a bit. I like that a lot better. Now whether that was the white that was left over on my blender or probably a little bit of both, but I just think it's a little bit prettier of a red. I actually want to put a little bit more in there. I like it better. Okay, I'm going to clean up, get my piping bags. I'll bring it back. It's probably been like 30 minutes or more. And I just kept walking away. <laughs> I kept walking away and I thought I'm not going to do this too soon. And I think I'm perfect. I would come back every five or 10 minutes to stir it. What am I doing? I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing. Hang on. Let me fill this. So as this one is bigger, I'm going to start with it and just kind of see, see what I have here. It's honestly... It's not um, too little. I, ha I have plenty of piping and I probably will um, layer this a bit so I can get all this soap in here.
and I'm going to put glitter on because I think it requires it, but I can't remember which one of these is I, the one I don't like. That one. That one's humongous. Let's put this on. I haven't used glitter in forever, guys. It's high time I use it again. And I always use too much. All right. I am gonna see pop this and bring you back for the cut. I am starting to question myself. <laughs> I'm really anxious to open this up and I'm really anxious to get these cut because I'm thinking, well, I really like just a white bar with a red top. <laughs> When I did it yesterday or the day before, I can't remember now, gosh, you guys, work. When I did this, I thought, oh, this is gonna be so cool and different. And now I'm thinking, is it really gonna be cool and different or is it just gonna be different? <laughs> so there it is before the cut. I may try to snap a couple pictures of that. I don't know, I need to start doing that better. Real, my goal for next year is to do much better on my pictures. Um, I hate my pictures on my website. And um, I really, I, I actually got a hold of a marketing group to try to help me. And they, um, they kind of shot me down because they don't use the same camera I use. I'm thinking, is it that hard to help me with aperture and ISO and lighting? Seems like that's all kind of universal. <laughs> So I'm still looking for somebody to help me with my picture taking, but I mean, I mean, that's kind of pretty, right? I, I'm starting to get excited again. Let's get this cut. All right. There they are in the logs. I didn't take pictures because I'm kind of bad about that. There they are. Let's see them cut up. So back to my pictures. I even went to Ikea to get this countertop um, last weekend and I picked up a couple of different items for props for my pictures I don't know guys I need I need help <laughs> I need help with all that I really wanted to have somebody come out here and go through my my lighting setup and help me with all of that and yeah I'm still looking I'm still gonna look for that There's the end piece. I mean, really, there's nothing to see here. <laughs> White and red. I, I think I kind of like that. It's very simple. It's a very, very simple bar. Um, they're all gonna look the same. Uh, yeah, I, I think I kind of like the simplicity of it. They all don't have to be ridiculous, right? They can, there can be some simplicity. I think I kind of like that guys. So I want to get the edges cleaned up and I will bring you back when that is done and we'll look at the final part. All right, let's find one with not a whole lot of soda ash on them. Some of them, it, they were a little, they're a little ashy. Uh, this one is, is fairly ashy. Uh, I thought about steaming them, but I just didn't feel like it. Um, I didn't want to get that out. I'm trying to clean and organize and still make products down here. So that's kind of hard <laughs> to, to do all of that at the same time. Uh, so I just didn't want to get that out and get all that going. So yeah, we're going to live with a little bit of soda ash. This one's not too bad. <laughs> um, I want to know what you guys think. I, I think I'm okay with that. I think it's, it's actually quite elegant looking. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with my TD. I put quite a bit of it in this and it's just this creamy white still. And I know I used a little bit of that uh, extra virgin olive oil just to try to use some of that up. So I think I used about five ounces. Um, and, and I know that that's going to make it discolor a little bit, but I really thought I used enough TD to kind of offset that a little bit. It's not super, super white. I'm, I'm okay. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Should I have swirled it or not? Let me know. Honest opinion. Um, I think it's kind of elegant though. 
They're, they all look the same. I keep showing them to you. They all look the same. So that's it for today. Should should probably have been a quick quick video for you. We'll see how that worked out. <laughs> Hopefully it was a quick video for you. And uh, I appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing that for me. That would be wonderful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. Have I said everything? I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.